So today we are here to talk about the joy of accounting. Sounds like an oxymoron, but I promise it's not. The goal here is to give anyone who has even the basics of accounting down a really great framework to see financial statements and businesses in a new light and to see a better way of thinking about accounting. So all of that was unveiled in this book. What you probably think about when you think about accounting is T accounts. You know, you've got your debits, you've got your credits, and those basically get put together to come up with your three financial statements. Accounting is used to tell a story. And I think that's the real key thing I wanna to touch on today is that it helps you tell the story of a business using these three financial statements in a little bit nicer framework. I almost think of it like a puzzle. When you think about a business, you have two things. You have rights, you have obligations, okay? This is called the duality of accounting. We have rights to assets, foreshadowing. We have obligations funding those assets. So when you think about a business, when you think about your personal life, think about this beautiful little butterfly. There are no rights without obligations. Just like you need both wings of a butterfly. We're gonna say that every business has its creditors and those create liabilities. And then we have equity that's held by the owners of a business or the shareholders. No matter what, assets will always equal liabilities and equity. So when I talk about these things, you know, this is a quick refresher. What am I talking about? Assets. This is anything with value. Liabilities are contractual obligations to pay creditors who need to be repaid because they've provided cash, goods, or services with an expectation of that timely repayment. Equity is the residual value of obligations to the owners or shareholders. So here's the framework I'm excited to share. Let's expand this a little bit. Assets. And it's green because it's tangible grass. It's of the earth. And for our obligations, we're gonna use orange. The orange reminds us of sunshine, which like our obligations can't be touched, but is our ultimate source of energy or funding. Assets equals liabilities and equity. Now here's the part I'm really excited about, okay? One piece of this equity, annual profit. What is profit made out of? Profit is the net of revenues and expenses. Now for those accounting nerds keeping track, yes, just for fun, let's remember this is in fact the debit side. This is in fact the credit side. This is just for orientation purposes, but what I really wanna make clear here today, you know, this nice little profit box is the net of our revenue and expenses. And this is the puzzle I keep referring to. The whole goal of a business from an accounting perspective is to increase its obligations to its shareholders by driving profits and decrease its obligations to its creditors by paying off its liability. So another way to think about these two sides, instead of thinking about it as credits, this is our source of funds. And on the left side, this is a use of funds. Source of funds, use of funds. Our revenues, again, getting back into some definitions. At the basic level, a revenue is value generated by the business. Expenses are value sacrificed by the business, okay? This ultimately is a use of funds, even if it's not expenditure of 
cash, it is an ultimate use of funds. It is a sacrificing of value. Now, through the magic of editing, I've been able to pull up arbitrarily uh, public companies' financial statements. This is from the Form 10-K for Tyson Foods Incorporated. Now, this is the income statement, right? We talked about the rev, uh, I'm sorry, the sources of funds and the uses of funds. So let's see what that looks like on an actual income statement. They have a top line of sales. That would be our revenues. That is our sources of funds. This is in millions, $47 billion. So Tyson shareholders will see $3 billion in the year 2021. In our framework, those can all fit into two boxes, source of funds, uses of funds. So let's take a look at the balance sheet. Our total asset line, $36 billion. Liabilities. So this whole section here is our liability. This is the amount Tyson is beholden to its creditors. Um, in this case, they don't actually total all liabilities but we can do that separately and we're gonna do just that. And we have our shareholders equity section, which we talked about before as well. That leaves us with shareholders equity of $17.9 billion. And what did we say before? Assets must equal liabilities and equity. Assets, $36.3 billion. Liabilities and equity, $36.3 billion. So let's get these numbers here into our framework and let's tell that story. The story that we are seeing is Tyson Foods is using $17.9 billion worth of owner's equity and $18.5 billion worth of creditor's funds. So we're going around town here. Bring it around town. That 4951 equity liability split is funding $36.3 billion in assets. Tyson is using those assets and sacrificing $44 billion in value to generate $47 billion in value creating activities. The net of this 47 and 44 yields a profit of $3 billion that is included in your balance sheet. That means that the company is now beholden $3 billion more to its shareholders. Hopefully what's become clear today is that this framework can help you tell the story of any business. This can be used not just on business. It can be used on anything. Businesses, personal finance, nonprofits, and even government entities. You can open up any financial statements. Most of them, if it's publicly traded, if it's a nonprofit, if it is a government entity, those financials are all available online. Hopefully this gives you a framework where you can immediately see any sort of company or entity or, or nonprofit that you have a vested interest in, even your local town, you will immediately see how those, uh, how your town is managing its assets, how it's funding those assets, what percentage of liabilities to equity are being held, and what sort of value is being sacrificed every year via its expenses, via its income statement, and what sort of value is it generating. For a town, it would be generally through tax revenue. So thank you for listening. Good luck out there.